What's up, everyone? Welcome to 137 of Nerd Acumen Wrestling, NAW, episode 137. And thank you, Trevor. Yes, finally landed something, so I start that in two weeks. Uh, Igor says, time to search that. Pretty sure we fulfilled everything. Batman, thanks for the host. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And two-bit donation from Locke to kick hey us yo. off. Hey, yo. So, yes, yes. Thank you for that. Um, somebody do some research on this Igor Twitch Championship debacle. Uh, Igor says he's over the Twitch title shot. Mm, pretty sure we fulfilled hey, everything, but hey, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. You gorgeous, man. You, 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 you gorgeous. Anyways, welcome everyone. Tuesday night here, we had a huge huge show on Sunday if you missed it go watch that back in our archives uh, Clash of Champions crowned a lot of new champions it was a big night for this show um, hey, yo. but we're kicking things off it's October now so a few more weeks left under our current general management and only a few more weeks left until 2k20 uh, I didn't see tonight's card do you have a match yes you do DK hey, you were in the main event tonight so I just posted that on our social media. We're kicking things off though with the Tag Team Championship. Lana first, as always. Get your votes in. This is exclamation point match one. The champions, Cody King, lock steady won in the dark match on Sunday, having to turn around and immediately defend against Annihilation in the middle and then the Degenerates on the right. So get your votes in for this match. So you can vote for the champs, Cody King and lock Annihilation or the Degenerates. Exclamation point, match one, space than the team you're voting for. Grand Canyon, shout out to Warline, winning the DNA Championship on Sunday night, having to, again another person turn around and immediately defend that thing here tonight. Uh, best of luck to you in your match later on this evening, Grand Canyon. So a big win for you, glad to have you finally getting a championship here on the show. So big night tonight. Uh, again, we're kicking October off as we're counting down to our next pay-per-view, October 30th, a Wednesday night special, Halloween Havoc. And then, of course, around that time, we'll be announcing stuff for the new game, Lockdown Kingdom. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're just a few weeks away from 2K20. We will be giving away three copies, thanks to Wicked, of the game. Digital copies that will get the codes out to the winners. Uh, how do you enter? The more you watch. He's been observing and taking notes, and then he'll be making Royal Rumble matches. And the winner of those matches will get free digital copies of the game. Really did feel good. Winning that title, looking forward to defending his night. Hey, I hope you do well. Ready to see you in action again. But we're gonna kick things off inside a Hell in a Cell. Go big or go home to kick off October. You have the key though, this is rated. <laughs> uh, for everyone that joined us on Sunday though, thanks for joining us for that show. It was a very special show. We hit a milestone for the channel. A 10 bit donation from Batman Hip Hip. Hooray, thank you so much. Igor says, Mino locate it. I don't know, Igor. I went through every single redemption, and you were not on there. When did you redeem, and uh, why didn't you get your match? I am curious about that. Not locked down. <laughs> he drink a can of Twitch. But yes, yes, yes. Uh, big month planned. Tuesday, we do. The following contest I don't know, you got Last Tuesday, match. Thursday? No, Tuesday. And you never got your match? His way to the ring. I don't know. Can anyone else confirm that general manager's commissioner? Last night I was chanting one more match to Hogan and Flair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not okay. I didn't finish watching Raw. I watched half of it. Uh, the new stage design. I'm sad it won't make it to the new game because uh, that stage design was really cool. You never got it. Hmm. Well, you go. We'll see what we can do for you. I went through every Strand Redemption and made sure that everyone was booked for the pay per view. So, uh, I don't know. 
Hey yo. Hey yo, thanks for the host. DKA. What's up, Tatos? <laughs> Champ's coming out now. Their Feast or Famine? Yeah, we flushed those out. There was a giant 20-man Royal Rumble Feast or Famine. I know that happened. I know for a fact that happened. Cody, thanks for the host. So Feast or Famine is no more. It was a good idea, but uh, awfully faulty design for what we're doing here. Uh, something we may return to for one-offs, but... Can Locke go back and see when he last spent 3,000 strands? There, yeah, there's a log, and that's what I reviewed. I, I go down the list, and it has timestamps and everything. And then I accept them one by one as I enter them into matches. I know for a fact it wasn't on the log. So if there was a hiccup or a glitch, that's quite possible. That's happened before. It's not often. But we'll see what we can do for you, Igor. Degenerate's coming out now. Only good WWE Twitch channel is right here on Nah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what we do. We try to have fun. He did redeem on September 26th at 10.05. Well, it was not in the redemptions log, so there was a hiccup. Igor, you will get your match then. I accepted all of them. You were not on that list. I accepted, so... Game sound is a little low. Let me make an adjustment to that. Alright, let me know if that's good now. Hey yo! Hey yo, thanks for the host. Can you? Better, better. Awesome. And Locke knows what list I am confirming on here, too, so... Many apologies, Igor. We did not overlook you. It just was not on the list. Hell in a Cell, first pinfall or submission for the Tag Team Championship here. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Thanks for the host, Machete. Just going back through my list of things, so that is that is quite strange, Igor. So. And you know what, Igor? We did, we did um, the pre-show Sunday night Clash of Champions. You did get your match, Igor. You were in the match on Sunday, so uh, you, you did get booked for your Twitch match. So you you did get it. You got your redemption. It was the first match kick off the pre-show on Sunday night. I thought for fact, I have it here. Cody, Nightmare, Neck, Igor, Adrian Cross, Raided, T-Shot, and Don. You hadn't found it yet. Yeah, you were in the match, Igor. We booked you. So say, I swear I booked you for that match. If for some reason you got pulled from it, somebody pull up that match on YouTube and confirm whether or not Igor is in it, but I swear to you, we booked it. Because there was a huge list of people all wanting to go for the Twitch belt. Adam bouncing off the cell wall there. First pinfall or submission will take home the tag titles here. Clothesline taking out the Maniac. Lock in control. Trying to retain his championship gold here. Try 
not doing an awful lot. Brett doing work on Adam. Locke going up high risk. He's going up top. What's he got in mind? It is a tough crowd here tonight. Rolling out of the ring is Adam. If you're on our Discord, I post a screen clip of the match card screen there. There you go, I wouldn't have screwed you over, man, I promise you. I do my best to double check. I even put in a group chat we have with the general managers and the executive team uh, confirming the Strand Redemptions. Uh, we double check that each and every week before we book all our cards, uh, as we did this week for tonight so far. So we do our best to make sure everyone's getting their entitlements. I know you guys watch a lot of content to save up those strands. We definitely don't want to screw you over. Around the world. And around and around he goes from Locke there. Adam now doing work on Locke. I was loving this. Comics, what's going on? Loving this show. How you doing? Should we address you as the champion? <laughs> Finally winning for those that didn't catch the pay-per-view. Uh, the champion has arrived. Greatest is everyone just attacking me. What the hell? <laughs> Hadouken. Brett going down. Locked with the pinfall attempt. Maniac quickly breaking that one up. And Crystal could thank me because Nas viewership just went up. Where's the rest of your posse? They had a pretty good evening as well. I'm loving this. Cody doing work. Oh! Lady almost stealing one from Locke there. Was there an official list of September's vote winners? No, they were just given title opportunities on Clash of Champions, so those were your winners. DKA, what's going on? Did you just change your name? Or do you have two? It worked! Okay. So you changed your name. But yeah, the official list was just the match card for Sunday. Water on your pop tart. Genesis party pretty hard in celebration. <laughs> What I'm doing here is Annihilation is doing work. Rated in trouble. Guess you weren't a winner? I mean, you were in a match. Are you not in a match, Bones? So now y'all are questioning me on everything I do. Yeah. You're in the DNA Championship match, Bones. Well, sure, you were eligible for the DNA title. You used strands to get in there, so. So they're one and the same. That's why using strands at the end of the month, I'd wait to use them, especially if you're a contender with votes. Basically, what I want to do at the end of the month is flush out strands so we can start each month clean. What I, what I don't want is weeks and weeks and weeks for these general managers not to be able to book things. Uh, that's been the biggest problem with the general managers, that they can't even book their own shows because we have such a backlog. So I'm, I'm trying to help the general managers out. Uh, Bones, you knew that. I mean, you were a general manager for a short period of time. You 
no, the strands aren't reset. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flush those out. You, you'll keep earning your strands. I'll never reset those. You guys earned those. It's the redemptions. I want to close out. If there's like multiple people waiting in line for a title, I want to make sure everyone gets booked for their match at, by the end of the month. So at each pay per view. That's why pay per views will feature potentially multi man matches or what have you. Hey, yo. Nightmare, thanks for the host. Raider, the pinfall attempt on Cody here. Adam breaking that one up. So a lot of this show, and if you've been with us for a while, it's been a lot of uh, see what works, see what doesn't, get some feedback, maybe some pissed off people, and then we make changes. This con constant evolution and improvement is what we do here. Uh, and there's going to be growing pains. Comics, thanks for the host. Hey, yo. So, again, everything is process development improvement for what we do. DKA, yeah, Rated had me turn it up. I'll turn it back down. So let me know if that makes any difference here. Trevor, he's usually the one pissing people off. The Maniac with a pitfall attempt gets a two count. Cody breaks it up. Let me know if the audio is better now. Got brewing up a storm here is Brett now doing work on Cody. So I'll be putting on a poll why the fans hate this match. So I, you know, I don't know. Well, look at the teams. Are there any non-heel teams right now on this show? Most of the people that we have are heels on this. Oh, the high vote can't get a main title shot. Ah, I see what you mean, Bones. Bones, you got a general manager on your side. All you got to do is ask. I'm sure you'll get booked well. <laughs> you have the benefit there. Adam exhausted after landing that move on Ray to go for the pinfall. Will he have enough time? Annihilation becomes again your tag team champions. DK says it's not much better. Yeah, I turned it down. Really. <laughs> Pear says I play no favorites. And you're right, you have not. You've been a fair general manager and I respect that. I was just letting him know that he could try. Could be worth an attempt, you know? How's the volume now? Let me know. I adjusted a little bit more. You're not on any W. Doesn't work like that over here. <laughs> Yikes. But of course, didn't want to break up the fall. Typical. <laughs> Triple H from the early 2000s. Kinda. New Tag Team Champions to kick off October here on NAW on Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Twitch. So you don't want to miss the action. If you want to be part of the show, you know how to do it. Upload your character community creations. NAW is the hashtag. You're going to hurt this mechanism. Uh-oh. So shout out. Speaking of uploads... Tonight and Thursday are the last two nights that I'm going to scan for character updates for 2K19. Please, by Thursday night, have your character on there. I'm giving a two-day extension. After Thursday night, I will not scan for new character updates. So if you want to have a second attire or any changes before we switch to the new game, do it now and have it uploaded Thursday at the very, very latest. Brady can't wait to Halloween. I know what you're talking about. Do I? Why are you throw me under this awkward bus like I have inside info? Weird. Anyway, make sure you get your character uploaded, please. Because I will not be accepting any updates after Thursday night for 2K19. 
you know it doesn't say anything? What you talking about? What you talking about? They took your bits. What happened now? 181. Streamlabs took your bits? What are you talking about? Somebody's against Igor. Ladies and gentlemen, exclamation point. Yes, get your costumes. Upload. I want to see cool second attires for Halloween Havoc. It's our Halloween show. Come on. You don't want to be left out of the fun for that one. Dress up as something funny, unique, or uh, maybe your favorite character on NAR new, or the person you despise to make fun of them. Um, but tonight, right now, exclamation point match two, get your votes in. Amy Emmy, or the Women of Destruction. You just messaged me. I'll check it after. Who won the first match? Annihilation. They won the tag belts. So get your votes in exclamation point match two. Amy, Emmy, or W-O-D. No entrance on this one. We're trying something new. Only uh, the title matches tonight. We're going to do entrances. We talked about this before with Bones. Uh, we're going to try it out and see how it works. Old attire has a Halloween attire if you still have it. Uh, no, I don't. I had to delete to make room, so if there are copies of a person, I don't have them. Uh, want to make a Halloween skin? I Yeah, we can. I have you downloaded. I'll make something cool. So get your votes in now. Last chance. I'm going to start the match. There we go. Going to be a lot of Granny Well costumes. You know, I'll be honored if there are, to be honest. Whether you love me or hate me, I'm getting a reaction. Uh, that's that's doing something so uh, not mad about that tag team action here make a Seth costume there you go I will be surprised here and this isn't dismissing the talents of Amy or Emmy um, but the Women of Destruction are the most dominant tag team that we have here on Tuesday nights. Uh, and there's no denying that. Or Gravity's costume. There you go. <laughs> Igor has Gravity's for Halloween. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> uh, bring back the oil. And yeah, speaking of Gravity's, you saw foreplay in their final match ever this past Sunday night so if you missed that go back into our archives on our YouTube and check that out uh, definitely a match worthwhile uh, they battled the stiff dicks uh, did they prevail? Mm -hmm. go back and find out they stiffed the dicks this past <laughs> pitfall attempt here from Amy gets a two maybe gravity's as ego there you go Gravities is done, retired. He wrestled his final match on Sunday. We'll treasure the moments we had. <laughs> Another pinfall attempt. Will this be enough? No, two count there. Sledgehammer in play. The new Twitch interface on PC is growing on you. The dark mode. I mean, they had dark mode before. How is it different? Amy in trouble here. Different colors and accents. All right. Igor will be Gravity's following. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a sight, I tell you. The new emote looks great on it. Awesome. Speaking of, uh, it's been amazing getting those two emotes. Uh, someday maybe we'll add a DNA one for a third. To get there, utilize your Amazon Prime account as you get a free Twitch Prime every single month. Feel free to use it with us. We'd love that. It's free again. So, prototype, what's going on? So, yeah, you get a free one every single month. Uh, you gotta renew it, though. It doesn't roll over or auto-renew, which is kind of frustrating, but... What can you do? Pitfall attempt here from Amy. 
It's a two count. An Igor emote. There you go. Speaking of, I am working on, I've been doing some designs and uh, stuff. I don't know if I'm going to roll it out now or I might just wait for 2K20 with the new characters. That way I don't have to change anything. But I am working on some designs and uh, character merchandise. It's been talked about for a while. Uh, I've made the executive decision. Prototype will kiss you. I've made the executive decision. I think it's best for the merch store to showcase our uh, top talents and factions here on clothing. Uh, hopefully you will be interested in obtaining your own. Wait for 2K20. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Uh, that we don't have to adjust. But if you want your character on a shirt, we're going to work on making that happen. Or your faction. Genesis is a great example. Uh, you'll be able to buy your Genesis t-shirt from the merch store with 2K20. Uh, and 2K20 with the non-new titles look different or the same. Uh, there may be subtle tweaks. Uh, there may be logo design changes. Who knows? Uh, 2K20, we're kicking off a new season. So there might be subtle changes to the arenas, new looks for the belts. You have to stick with us and find out in a uh, few weeks. I'm excited. I'm uh, anxiously awaiting to get to work on updating things. So I got a few people interested in assisting as well. So uh, we're going to try to make this process quick and streamlined as possible to adjust everyone. And it's exciting. It's it's we're in October. We're so close. Bring on the Genesis merchandise, this comics. <laughs> and Cody, for yours, we talked a bit briefly today. Uh, still no tracking, so what I'm gonna do is cancel that one uh, since I don't have confirmation of shipment, and then just resubmit a new order. Uh, then get a confirmation of the cancellation, of course. Sable faction member cap. Yeah, so here's the thing, Bones. There's going to have to be a cap because we can only have 24 different pieces of merchandise in our store. That is our cap. There's obviously more than 24 people on this roster, and uh, it'd be terrible to leave people out. So we may have rotating merchandise too. So, like, if you're a champion, and get your uh, character with the belt on a shirt for a short period of time, and then we rotate it out. So it's one of those things you purchase it, limited time offering, you'll never see it again. Next year, do we want Igor Vladimir ponies? I mean, whatever you want, man. Oh, in the game? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, in the game, of course, too. Tapping Amy out here. Women of Destruction picking up the win. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, in game, there is actually a, a tag team or a faction limit of five members. Uh, it's going to be something that we uh, do it here too in the new game as well. Uh, for one, it's it's confusing for the game to have more than that, and it's time consuming to uh, create entrances and unique things for factions larger than five, so we'll cap it at five. We'll be selling NAW caps. We already have caps available, yes. The tag team champions here, again showcasing why they are at the top. So they have the NAW, NEW, and DNA caps. Check out our merch store, exclamation point merch. So they have a big win for them. If you put in an order during the show too, you get an awesome alert message saying you did so. So, Igor merch, that'd be sweet. Have it like have half the sleeve missing from Toxic Waste. That'd be a fun design. I didn't. I saw the headline. I didn't finish the show yet. So hey, there you go. Lock Steady bought a DNA Grav and Lock hoodie. Gotta stay warm. Gotta stay stylish. There you go. Great example. How that works. So congratulations. You just picked up an awesome hoodie. Let me know how it looks. Um, I'm excited to see that one because that's one that I want. That's a classic too, our classic designs. So exclamation point match three, you got Trevor, you got Kevin, and you got Rated. 
This is for a number one contendership for the NAW Championship. So winner of this will move on for a championship opportunity against your NAW champion. Get your votes in now. I mean, it's a triple threat. Rated. A cancel and reorder hoodie to show it. Lock, if you want to do that, <laughs> get his uh, shipping info and the hoodie he wants if you want to message each other real quick. Uh, and then just let me know again uh, to pull that back out and adjust the funds as needed. It's not fair. <laughs> so last chance here, exclamation point match three, Trevor, Kevin, and Rated. Number one contender for the NAW Championship. Of course, winner will move on to face the end. It's not fair. <laughs> for them? <laughs> I see what you mean. Yes, we do need to figure out that GM reward, because uh, uh, Cody, you were hey again. Yo. Hey yo, thanks Darkness for the host. Cody, you were the top bit donator in September, uh, so that does award you with the uh, general manager of a show award. But we do need to talk about that. You said that you have a, something in mind. Uh, Batman converted his sub. Thank you so much for that. Why didn't we get an alert? Hey oh, I yo. see it in chat there. Rock, thanks for the host. Hey, yo. So awesome, awesome. Seth, what's going on, man? Welcome to the show. Pinfall attempt here. Kevin on Trevor. Winner will face the end next Tuesday for the NAW Championship. Of course, the end in action tonight. Non-title against Bones. Bones has a great chance to prove why he's worthy to be an NAW champion again if he were to defeat the end. Slow ref, says Prototype. Big move here. Oh, off the turnbuckle pad. Breaking up those two is rated stepping in. Tries to sneak a pinfall. Kevin here, Raider kicking out of one. Trevor is slow to recover. What is going on, man? Had a kid thing. I was just saying, Bones, you have a great opportunity tonight to showcase why you should be in the ranking for the NAW Championship as you're facing the champion in a non title. You can't decide if you want the rig tee or the DNA hoodie. If you get the hoodie, I'm stealing it from you. Let's be real, if I were to get a hoodie, you'd steal it from me, so. Proto says, get the T. Damn keto die, I have no power hey now. Yo. Hey yo, Alex Knight, thanks for the host. Uh, did we get a character from you? I would take Angela out of the battle. She's gotten almost every one of my hoodies since I've known her over the last 15 years, so let's be real. The character should be uploaded. Perfect. As mentioned, I'm doing scans tonight and Thursday night to grab the final ones. You don't see it in the thing at all. You don't know if I can do anything with it. Well, that's problematic in itself. I'll look at stuff after the show tonight again, Locke. So clearly that order failed. Big fail. Just 
Streamline. Yeah, it is wonky. That's fun. Well, at least we're on to something. Thanks, Locke, for the investigation. Pinfall attempt here. Trevor eliminated. We're down to two. Hey, Locke, while you're in there, then, would you mind processing a new order, then, for uh, Cody? Get his, uh, have him message you with the shipping information, and then, uh, there you go. Yeah, hit him up with the size and uh, shipping info and all that. That way we can all see it on screen and alert. <laughs> Tell you, Daddy. That should be our next hoodie. We'll say it on the back, like on the lower part. Hey yo. Hey yo, Alex Cook. Thanks for the host. PG. The Harder Daddy hoodie. Good lord. That needs to be a thing. <laughs> Nah, we do it harder, Daddy. <laughs> Is that our slogan for 2K20? If we had a commercial? That's what we need. We need to make a new commercial. It's not you quit. <laughs> yeah, you do comics. Alex Cope ain't been booked in a good while. Don't look at me. We're doing the best we can to book everyone. Guaranteed way, though, is use those strands. You've done it before. You've been champ. Kevin becoming number one contender here to face the end for the NAW Championship next Tuesday. There you go. Alex Cope, though, we've seen you use strands before. You became champion. Let's see you do that again. But what do I think of the new commentary team on Raw? I think it's not great. Uh, I was a bit, a bit surprised and kind of disappointed to see, to see who. Here is your winner, Kevin Miller. Cope is on Thursday nights. He's on NEW. He only faced Kevin once and I lost. Yeah, Kevin's a tough dude. Honestly, the Millers, two of the toughest dudes here in the history of NAW. They were a duo that came back after a short hiatus to take out the New Nation at the beginning of 2019. Go back in our record books to see that. New Nation was running shop of their first rise to the top. Miller time came back and halted that progress. So when you need things done, who do you call? You call the Millers. The two commentators were picked by Heyman, so hopefully a little rusty and we'll get better. Hey, I mean, hopefully. You hate PayPal? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's not great. Setting up our match four for the evening here, we have the end. The NAW champion, the end, against Bones in a non-title match. Keep in mind, a non-title. But again, this is a great opportunity for Bones to showcase why he should be a contender. At least we didn't have to hear it's boss time. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It, one of my biggest grievances over the years for WWE has is, is really been their announced teams. I've never been a big fan of three-person announced teams. I prefer two. Uh, three is a crowd. Uh, the third should be people coming down, like the wrestlers coming down, um, or, or various other guest stars. Uh, it shouldn't be a three-person team. Uh, I, I think that's too many people, personally. Uh, and just the, the duo... I don't know, it's no longer the days of, uh, you know, Michael Cole, the King, or even JR, you know, their various duos, or even Heyman involved in that. Uh, even McMahon, Macho Man, stuff like that is, I don't know. 
The king? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot to speak on, king. I'm not going to. The numbness of my mouth was worn off. I can speak normally. There you go. And Rilana bought a rig shirt. There it is. Look at that. That's so cool. NAW rigged. You can get one. NAW for life. Awesome. Can't wait to see in that shirt. Looks good. Match four, though. Get your final votes in now. You had a dentist appointment. Okay, I was wondering why. Either the end or bones. Exclamation point. Match four. So thanks a lot, Lana, for uh, supporting what we do here. Getting a shirt. I can't steal this shirt because she's much, much smaller than I am, so... She stole it already? Yeah. Making his way to the ring. Check Facebook message. I, uh, in making me work. Oh, God. There you go, Rob. Did you get your response? Okay, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry about that. The champion, the NAW champion here, walking out with the belt for the first time, winning it this past Sunday at Clash of the Champions. He's another person that's been chasing this belt for a long, long time, has had many opportunities, and he finally gets it. Or finally got it, obtained it, that is. So Brock, dude, you've been here for a long time. Thank you for sticking with us and finally earning that belt. Not many people have worn that, so be proud to be among the elite. It's a tough belt to obtain. Took me 90 episodes. <laughs> I'm a two-time NAW champion, just saying. One-time NAW champion. Black says, Welp. What's Welp? You know, Bones, I bet you they don't fix the clipping issue. I bet you anything. I responded to you, Lock. Let me know if that works. And his opponent from Grand Rapids, Michigan. You kinda hope Bones gets the win so he can get an opportunity. I mean this isn't technically for an opportunity, but he can make an argument for one. You've been there twice already? <laughs> This is entrance always creeps you out. Yeah, very, uh, very dark. Yeah, definitely music is, uh, unsettling is the best way to describe it. Perfect for Halloween, yes. I hope so as well. Uh, we'll see. I'm sure they'll have something similar. Big right hand against the champ to start things off here. From Bones, good lord. Thank you, Locke. We'll adjust that in our funds again. Make sure our funds are up to date with the transaction logs.
So there you go. Locke will have the official tracking. He has confirmation this time. So uh, we apologize for any hiccups or whatever happened before. So hopefully it'll appear on screen here for us too. Ian now doing work on Bones. Oh, I mean, not since it was internal. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's a bummer. He sent me an image, so I can confirm it was processed this time. <laughs> The end now, continuing his assault. You already got the notification on your side, perfect. So no hiccups. Now Cody, thank you, thanks for being patient with Streamlabs and their merch service. Doing work now methodically, limb to limb here is Bones. One of his signature moves right there. You got all the Halloween movies now. Awesome, Batman. We've been talking about that. Uh, what have you watched so far? We were discussing what proper order to watch things in the other day. Oh, the end. <laughs> Missing there. Mistake made. You do not want to make mistakes against Bones. He will capitalize like he's doing here. Just the first round on, what'd you think? Nice kick. Laying out the champion. Goes for a pinfall after that. Will this be enough? Crowd booing. Two and a half. Crowd continuing to boo. Oh, the Shatner mask? Yeah. <laughs> That's a mold of his head. That's pretty funny. On the shoulders, down! The thing in its prequel, yeah, watch those. Brightburn's good. Yeah, you need to watch that. Two count there. Bones kicking out. And Lana and I watched Brightburn. You got the new Child's Play? I did as well. We, Lana and I have yet to watch it. We're still getting through our classic monsters. Nice succession of moves there from the champion. Getting into a groove here against Bones. Big right hand. And a slam there into a pinfall. Will this be enough? No. Bones putting up a fight. That man says that was three. Nice punch there from Bones. That's Halloween movie is Trick or Treat. That is a good one. I did enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched that in a few years. I need to watch that again. I'm just waiting for Three from Hell to come out so I can watch that. Yeah, Trick or Treat, definitely if you have not seen it, you need to see that one. The end now, assaulting the face of Bones, landing combination strikes with the mount there. True the Dare is good. I haven't seen that one yet. I watched the Escape Room. That was not so good. Nobody loves Bobby Lashley more than Lana does. <laughs> I'm curious to see where they go with that. 
Bones taunting there as he went for the pinfall, did not get it. The girl in the pick in the top left is in it, right on. That's awesome. Uh, I think we talked about that. You said they, they were uh, a local. Or somewhat near you. Ooh. Oh, that's right. That's right. See, now I'm confused. I'm mixing things up. Jill Valentine. We did talk about that as well. Pinfall attempt now from the end. The champion with a win here over Bones. Still looking good, but it was not an easy fight here. Signs, that's a good movie. I haven't seen that in a while. Quiet Place took a lot of various things I felt from Signs. Not as far as like plot points, but just styling. Quiet Place was really good though. The end here. Non-title match. Picks up a win against Bones. He will face Kevin next Tuesday for his championship, though. Final Destination. Man, that's messed up my head. I can't go behind semis that carry long objects like poles or <laughs> trees. <laughs> I usually pass them very quickly. Congratulations, though, the end on your win here tonight. Setting up now match five, exclamation point, match five. Number one contendership for the NAW Championship. Fucked up highways for you, too, yeah. <laughs> I think we talked about that on our trip to Matsurikan uh, lock where we were driving down. Uh, exclamation point, match five, Lana, Sonia, or Smalls, get your votes in now. Again, this is a number one contendership match for the NAW Championship. Currently held by your NAW general manager, Crystal. So get your votes in now. The winner will face her next week, Tuesday, for the title. Oh, 13 Ghosts. Why don't you ask Lana about how she feels about 13 Ghosts? I think she'd love to watch that with you. Anyways, match five, exclamation point, match five. Screen movies are fun. Final chance to cast your vote. Lana, Sonya, Smalls, number one contendership for Crystal's NAW Championship begins now. There we go. You didn't sleep for weeks. <laughs> Somebody mentioned they should make a series out of the show. I've seen someone share the post uh, where each episode focuses on one of the ghosts to expand on their stories. Just make it a, a event series. Just one season. I'd watch that. Connects with the bridge. Doesn't stick with the pinfall here, though. Elimination rules in play for the number one contendership to face Crystal next Tuesday. Who wants it the most? The Jackals. This scares the bejesus out of you. There is backstories from them and the extras on the DVD. Hey, I didn't know that. Guess we'll have to watch that again, Lana. What do you think? You think it's still scary today? After everything I had you watch? Pinfall attempt here on Sonya. Two count. Event Horizon is such a great movie. Such a great movie. I love that movie. 
Lana landing her finisher on Sony here. Turns her focus to Smalls though instead of following up with a pinfall. Mistake made there. The Smalls was waiting. Hangs her up to dry in the ropes. You bet it's still scary. Yeah, probably. Spear taking out Lana. Pinfall attempt to follow. Sony taking a break in the corner. Get up Smalls back to her feet. Misses though. Lana backstepping. Scouting that move. Ernest scared stupid. <laughs> I mean, was that good though? Or is it just something we grew up watching? So there's like double move there. Gets both of them. Uh, it's one of those nostalgia films. Like you appreciate it because you watched it growing up. But is it still good? Twist of Fate landed on Sonya. Sonya getting the raw end of the deal from both Smalls and Lana. Yeah, I could see that. Kick her angle, GM of Raw, switch your angle. <laughs> the troll scared my dreams. <laughs> Hey yo, T shot. Thanks for the host. Incredible flip there. Lana going for the pitfall and Smalls. No, two count only. What is up, T shot? How you been? Sony, the referee can't get in position for the pinfall attempt. Smalls. Sony kicks out at two. Forearm strike and a drop kick to follow from Lana. Smalls down. Streaming. Sweet. What were you streaming, Tisha? I'm good, man. Just recovering from some stupid cold. In my throat. Oh god, dumps her power bomb out to the outside of the ring. That is awful. Lower. Variety of sports games, that's fun. Uh, what's your favorite sports game to play? Two there. Smalls feeling confident. Again, elimination rules in this match. Number one contender opportunity. We are less than four weeks away as well from Halloween Havoc, our pay-per-view on October 30th. Very, very excited for that one. Depends on the day. You're right on. Oh, Evil Dead, so good. How many of the horror? Good stuff. For those that don't know, last year we did a uh, bracket challenge of horror franchises. Uh, check that out. Batman did recently. Raised seven times and I think finished first or third. Three, oh, first three or four times. It's awesome. You bet Afghan since you feel 40. <laughs> I bet. I don't want to go there. No thank you. I'm glad others went so I didn't have to. VHS 2. What you hate it when you were younger. VHS 2 is not that old. Quarantine. If you like quarantine, watch Wreck. Quarantine is the American version of Wreck. Wreck is better. Or record, whatever you want to call it. Smalls focusing on Lana here. Lands a nice DDT. Momentum continues as she takes out Sonya now. Mistakes were made by Lana there choosing that movie because of act the actor in it. <laughs> uh, I, I think the situation's funny. Oh. 
Sonia now making a comeback here. Double arm. Nice move. Gets all of it. Lana hurt with that one. Pinfall. You whisper, you. Yeah, a clip. What happened today? I'm curious now. Lana eliminated out of this match. We're down to Smalls or Sonya. And thanks, Batman, for that. The shout out. We had fun making it. Yeah, go ahead, Tisha. I'll let you post it. Thank you for asking permission. Hopefully the uh, the thing will let you. I don't know if it'll let you or not. You could try. You wash through your fingers. <laughs> there you go, I'll let you. Oh, two and a half there. All the FIFA games, man. People that play the FIFA games, like you are truly uh, gifts to sports games. I can't figure those games out for the life of me. Crowd loving this. And Chan, this is awesome as Sonya is in control of Smalls here. Could she become the number one contender? The Shining is a required viewing. The sequel's coming out, I think, this month. Or if, if it's not out already. But yes, if you have never seen The Shining, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Small's in trouble here. We could have a new number one contender in just a few moments. Chest put you over 20k strands. Good lord. <laughs> the shining is boring. Whoa. Really? Was it just that it was slow? Two count smalls hanging on in this match. A lot at stake here. That, that is a great question, Locke. That is a great question. Wait, Bones, you don't like it either? I, I don't know who you guys are. You liked the remake? Yeah. Pitfall here. Leverage pin using the ropes. Tisha, you missed the pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, Sunday night. Check that on our archives. It was a really good show. Uh, I might be biased, but I felt it was a good show. One of our uh, better pay-per-views in recent history. It was our best pay-per-view in the month of September. How about that? Yeah, it's a worthwhile watch. The segment Ready Player One, yeah. The new Annabelle movie is good. I have not seen it yet. Smalls here in trouble. Going to get dumped outside of the ring with a power bomb. Oh no! High risk move. What is she doing? Oh my! Smalls saw that coming. Denied her. TDT on the outside now. Down goes Sonya. Pinfall. If I was calling anywhere in this one, will it be enough? Small stealing this thing after Sonya's domination. There you go. Smalls. Crystal. Next Tuesday. That is a huge matchup.
So from the chat reactions here, I'm feeling that podcasts need to come back. Locke, are you hearing this? People love to discuss things. We need to do topics of the week for the DNA podcast. So I think that needs to make a comeback. Uh, possibly, I mean, everyone's a fan of wrestling if you're here, so would people like to see the return of the Nerds of Wrestling podcast? I know we've asked this before, um, but once I figure out my work schedule, should podcasts come back? Maybe wrestling being a part of it, and then we do other things. So, I don't know. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. Five-bit donation from Smalls. Hip, hip. Hooray, thank you for that. You are the number one contender. You'll be facing Crystal next Tuesday. I personally look forward to that match. Hopefully others do as well. Wiener corn. <laughs> Match six, if you're voting along here tonight, the DNA Championship, Grand Canyon, your champion, Mark, your challenger. I get exclamation point, match six. Movie reviews, game reviews, wrestling podcasts. Do we just do it all in one podcast? Five-bit donation from Rated Hip Hip. Hooray, thank you for that. 95 from Cody Hip Hip. Hooray, thank you for that. So would everyone want to see just a, uh, like a combined Nerd talk show with wrestling and uh, movies and games just have segments. Just combine it all into one. Would people listen to that? Would you tune in? What do you think? Different separate podcasts? <laughs> Is there a match that might spoil the pay-per-view? Uh, maybe. 7-bit donation, hip hip, hooray, thank you for that, rated. Get your votes in, though, this is exclamation point, match 6. Either Mark or Canyon. I mean, some of the stuff I've been talking about possibly spoils results, but it's still a worthwhile pay-per-view to watch. See y'all next. <laughs> do I mean audio? No, it'd be it, we do this and then export to audio after. So if you didn't ca catch it live, you could find it on Spotify uh, within days after the actual live or on YouTube. But we'd probably record it here for everyone to chat along with us, so we can answer questions and have have discussions and even do like phoning people in to join the conversation. So vodcast is a better way. It's exactly like how we did all the good culture. I'll be honest with you, it'd be tough to do more than one each week if you want it on a weekly basis. Um, if you want to cover wrestling and then movies and then games, we could do separate ones, but multiple a week would be honestly near impossible. With, with how we do our schedules. To have a structured one with a certain time allotment for each topic uh, would be the best way that we could do something that has multiple topics. So if you liked wrestling, you could tune in for a 30 minute segment on this week in wrestling. And then maybe we talk about the movie of the week or the game of the week and do a review on that, what we're playing. So off the top of my head that'd be how it, we'd structure it obviously we'd go into different detail or figure things out how it could work uh, but that's just what I'm thinking so if we brought it back we would do something like that Ray's son taking bumps I mean he's been training for a while um, so I mean he took bumps very well uh, especially from someone like Brock who has uh, hurt people before, but uh, is experienced. So, your CW is ready, perfect. I'll be snagging those tonight and Thursday night, and then they'll be all debuting next week. You post them on the page to terrify Lana. <laughs> I don't. I mean, so if you guys are interested in vodcasts, 
let us know. Really, really let us know. Uh, and the way you really let us know, too, is uh, asking for it and then tuning in to when we do them. DNA Champion Canyon out here now. Will he retain against the challenger? Mark, this is what it's for, the DNA Championship. Thank you, Batman. Appreciate that. Introducing the challenger. And you'll earn strands by watching us. So. <laughs> Weighing in at 267 pounds, Mark the Predator Bennett. And that's just it, too. The more you watch, the more we'll do. Introducing the so. champion from Columbus, Ohio. Weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the men's wrestling champion, Headhunter. There you go, the Headhunter. That's when wrestling was good. Yeah, the 90s, definitely. So, Locke and I will talk about what we'll call the podcast, what we'll do with it, and... Uh, you can find us now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast platforms. So I would do uh, what I would do is sub and follow us now on those. That way you'll get notified as we do them. We're not saying that's why we retired the dosage, but yeah, that is uh, viewership declined. So we felt it's not what people wanted from us anymore. So it was time to end it. Ultimately, we do this because we want to entertain you and provide you guys with good content. Uh, if no one's showing up and we're just kind of doing this, as fun as it is, um, we do this for you guys. This is our free time as well. Uh, and we're not only spending time live, but we're spending time prepping stuff behind the scenes, building up ideas and stuff like this for all of you. So There's more than just us clicking go live. Dose of heart daddy. <laughs> Remus says, great start, Mark. I don't know if that was sarcasm, because it's not so great right now. As Canyon laying in on Mark. Landing rights, working on the arm. Mark in trouble. <laughs> okay, sarcasm. I figured as much, but hard to convey tone sometimes in text. Pitfall attempt. Sounds like one of those sites that I visit. She's mad at me. The dose of heart. We need to uh, trademark that. Do a show like most extreme elimination challenges where you just comment on a friend's gameplay like it's a pro match. There you go. That'd be fun. I mean, Bones, you stuck with me through the Blair Witch thing and uh, gave commentary. If only it narrated with your voice, that would have been fun. Lincoln Miller's doing play by play with Lock plays or watch. Yeah, that could be a fun series. Kenya says he's never seen someone with standing clothes on like that. Mark now, oh, to the midsection of Canyon. Canyon in trouble. Uh, there is a series that I've been wanting to introduce. Mark with a pinfall. Will he get it here? No one. Uh, I've pitched this to Locke a few times, and we still want to do it, and we probably still will. Uh, I want to have a series called The Challenge, where we play classic games. Uh, with challenge twists. Uh, example being, uh, see who can get the farthest, myself or Locke or whoever's the guest. Um, uh, example, Mario 1, the pacifist run. No coins, no power-ups, no killing bad guys. How far can you get in the game? Can we compete against each other? Who gets drunk first? That would be Locke. I did check your message, Ray. Right? <laughs> You're trying to get me to spoil things. Every death is a shot. Good lord. We did the Mario challenge before. That's, that's something. 
Two and a half there. People narrating video games. Yes, I should get my mother-in-law to narrate GTA. Another pinfall from Mark. Another two count. But who gets too drunk to keep going first? No, because then someone has to cart your ass home and then I have to like slide off my couch. It's just, it's just a mess. What's up, I Rob? Hey yo! Hey yo! I do have extra couches. But yeah, so that, that's uh, that's the idea of the challenge. Go uh, <laughs> coming over to drink. All right, that's a long flight, but come on over. Terry talks GTA. The honestly, like, she played it once and uh, she just could not stay on the road. She ran over pedestrians. Like my three-year-old son drives better. So Raided and Cody's coming over. We're just having a DNA party. <laughs> Can you now setting up a finisher on Mark? You have slept on a few food time before. It's true. Nice move landed there, Canyon, to retain his title. No! Two count. Is that another name for... No. Oh, was it Saints Row? I mean, one and the same, really. But, fair enough. Oh! Mark stealing the win! We have a new DNA champion just like that. Warline says, well, Annihilation is killing the competition. Everyone's talking Genesis. Why is no one talking Annihilation? They're the silent killers here. Canyon for another chance. Canyon getting a chance. A rematch next week, Tuesday. There you go, Grand Canyon against Mark. We're gonna see this rematch next Tuesday. Someone out donate Cody. He's not trying to win this month. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Batman says, see you next Tuesday. Did you just say what I think you said to him? What did you call him? 8-bit <laughs> donation from Lock Hip Hip. All right, thank you for that. Me strands, Lock cash in for me, NAW title. <laughs> uh, setting up a ton of matches already for next week. I'm excited already for next week. We're not even through tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Our main event is about to happen, and it is for the Twitch Championship. DKA, Adam. And your champion, Havoc, exclamation point, match seven. Get your votes in now. This is, of course, the Twitch championship that Havoc obtained in the elimination match on the dark match this past Sunday at Clash of Champions. DKA and Adam, the challengers here. The match, first to two pinfalls. This is a fan favorite for a few people. I'm bringing it back here tonight for our main event one more time. Won't be the last time, but just one, one more time again. Cody says, I want you in the NAW Championship scene, DK. He's definitely making a name for himself. Earning those strands by watching us live like this. He could be in that title picture sooner than we think. It doesn't take much. Voting well a couple shows and then tuning in, you'll get a chance to redeem strands. 
nine bit donation from Rated Hip Hip. For Ray, thank you for that. So get your votes in. This is our main event of the show here tonight. Exclamation point. Match seven. DKA. Adam. Or Havoc. It is the kitty. She's come to watch the show. DK getting a lot of votes, see? Stop stealing my Twitch shot, Pete. <laughs> Stop stealing your Twitch shot. <laughs> yes, of course, Stream Boss reset for October. Uh, her name is Symphony, like the uh, orchestra. We call her Sim or Simba. For short, but she is Symphony. The old kitty. She's 12 now. We speeding up the process though. If you're thinking about the thing. Ready right, with so many questions. Ready and anxious about something. Annihilation, of course, winning the tag titles in our opening contest here. Walking out with that belt. Will Adam walk out with a second belt here tonight? Woo! Woo! Cash in for me for the not title then lock. <laughs> that was straight out of trouble. I mean, I haven't seen that movie in a while. It's a dude playing a dude dressed as a dude. And the DNA title. Yes, of course. We can't forget about that. Annihilation. Just dominant. The dominant force here on NAW. There's no denying that. Just a dude playing a dude dressed up as another dude. <laughs> you got it. It's been a minute. I need to watch that again. A lot of dudes. Well, I'm not going there, rated. I'm going to slide that one to the side and uh, not, uh, not go there. <laughs> it's not for me to speak on. What I will speak on though is this entrance. This is a guy that's made an impact since his debut. Got attention immediately. He is Iron Man. Yes he is. Yo, 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 let me speak on this. Uh, speaking of Iron Man, my son, my oldest son, he just got his costume for Halloween. He's got one of those muscle Iron Man suits. Looks really cool. Uh, he was so excited uh, to wear that today. Uh, that made me happy. True nerd moment when your son's embracing uh, some of your favorite things with you. Uh, whether it be Iron Man or Godzilla video games in general, where he's learning like Sonic, Mario, Kirby. Uh, it's that, that right there, like that's a cool, cool moment. Yeah, thank you, Pear. There is a reason. Thank you. Could have been Batman. Yeah, I mean, Batman's my favorite hero, but Hermione, that's a good pick. We're getting um, our youngest son, uh, Spider-Man onesie. So they're gonna be superheroes this year. My brother-in-law and I are going to be Wayne and Garth from Wayne's World. So that'll be fun. Your son is going as DKA. That's awesome.
guy in Everest, Paw Patrol forever. And introducing the champion from Grand Rapids, Michigan, weighing in at 263 pounds, he is the internet champion, the Psycho. Captain America, Iron Man, Spider Man, Hulk. So, yeah, he definitely loves superheroes as well. It's awesome. Tug him in a Winter Soldier. That'd be sweet. Good Godzilla costume. The most epic to the most creepiest. I love the. I, just, I don't know. Like this is this is a lot of fun. That's how you make an entrance here, kicking off October, uh, debuting that new entrance, of course, this past Sunday, Clash of Champions was Havoc in the main event. Uh, if you missed that, go back and watch it, but now you've seen it here. Right, is that six? I rub in last place. Twitch Championship, our main event in the show tonight. First to score two pinfalls or submissions will win this. <laughs> Thursday, you'll finally get to see your entrance with the auto title. You're so excited. <laughs> How long has it been, Cody, since you've been without a belt? Oh my, Adam starting things off very aggressively, continuing the dominance for Annihilation. Havoc now trying to turn things around. Again, this is the long game that you play in this championship match when you have to get two successful pinfalls or submissions. It has been a while since you didn't have a belt. Team Naw. Of course, the Twitch title being competed for on each and every show, both shows, Tuesday, Thursdays. Uh, Havoc, a member of the Thursday Night roster, having to travel here tonight to face DK and Adam, members of the NAW roster on Tuesdays. A couple months minimum. <laughs> we have a table. Raiden needs a sub. <laughs> Amazon Prime, if you have it, you get a fr free uh, Twitch Prime every single month. Feel free to use it with us. You get those emotes. Don't steal my dragon sleeper, says Cody. Uh oh, thieves. God booing here, not sure why. How will the current champ of this be sorted in Survivor Series? Uh, Survivor Series has not happened. That'll be happening in November. That'll be our final show of 2K19. Which coincidentally actually coincides being episode 150 of the show. So, but who will they fight? We'll have to wait and see. The current general managers end their uh, commitments at Halloween Havoc. That is the final night with both general managers. After that, 
Locke will be taking back over at NAW and NEW will not have a general manager as we will determine what to do next with that show. Now, this is not elimination. It's the best or the first to get two pinfalls or submissions. So non-elimination. Commissioner says Cody. Will the commissioner take over NEW? I don't know. There's a lot of figuring out what to do with things uh, once the current GMs end their reign and commitments. Um, and then the future of Tuesday nights is in Locke's hands. Yeah, if you have a alternate tire tonight and Thursday night, Thursday night being the last night, I'm going to scoop up people. So have it in by Thursday afternoon at the very latest. So anyone out there, this again is a second to last call for those wanting to get an update in for 2K19. It will go through the next dozen episodes. I will not be getting any more updates after that for this game. Here's the other. I'm going to send you screenshots rated because I don't want to mess things up because I've gotten so many updates from you. <laughs> and I swear I've done things right and I hadn't before, so. Do we call this match the King's Court? Sure. We'll dub it as that. There you go, Batman offering to assist with making people. Um, I may need all hands on deck too when the new game launches for those that don't purchase the game. We want to get people onto the new roster. We don't want to leave people out just because they couldn't get the game or get their hands on the game or afford it. So I, don't, I don't want this to be a thing where you have to feel the need to buy the game day one to be on the show. Ultimately it helps, but I don't want to put that kind of pressure on someone as I don't know your situations. Because this show is free to watch. I never want to say, hey, you have to go spend $60 or whatever to be part of the show. Because that's not fair. This is the most wholesome part. Yeah. Again, we have so many generous people. A highlight, of course, here is Batman. It always amazes me. The kindness. It gives me hope for humanity after all. Uh, I feel I see a lot of negativity on the internet. So it is nice to see good people in a community like this. Uh, I'm very fortunate to know the people that we know in this community. We've had some strange things happen, some strange comments come and go, but you're going to get that, it's the internet. Um, but ultimately we've collected a, an amazing handful of people here. Batman says, loved it here from day one. Well, we've loved having you. Uh, immediately drew attention with uh, Hip Hip Harang Batman, because that made me happy. 10 bit donation from I Rob Hip Hip. Hooray, thank you for that. DKA with the pitfall on Havoc. No. Two only. Imagine if you never found me out there. I mean, you found us. I'm glad you did. And that's the thing, like, the day any of you wandered or referred to this channel, if you hadn't have checked it out, like, who knows? You know, what, what difference would happen? 100-bit donation from DKA, thank you so much, hip hip, hooray! <laughs> Rated, yes. <laughs> Bloody does havoc here. DKA getting an entry here. Gotcha. So yeah, you never know like what people you cross paths with and what significance that you play in their lives. Whether it be something so subtle as a, a follow on someone's channel or, or not. Adam with a pinfall and havoc. Adam picking up the first pin. He is up one in this match. 
Frankie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The <laughs> nice shiny beard. I did have the crazy beard. Oh, you posted if there are any AI leagues. That's right, that's right. So, yeah, I mean, random marketing efforts and uh, just having one, one follow like that lead up to the 500 we have. Um, you really don't know, like, this, even subtle things that one another can do for each other uh, in people's lives and what kind of impact you can make. Uh, it's huge. Uh, whether we provide you with a community like this to be, you know, included and feel special and vice versa, we're, we're thankful for that, to give that opportunity and then to have people. Uh, so it's uh, definitely a uh, great relationship to have. Batman's still up for a movie streaming. There you go. We definitely want to do that. Havoc with a pinfall and DKA. Havoc scoring a pinfall. Havoc now has one. Adam now has one. And yeah, he's just happy to marry the random guy you went to that I went to high school with. And, and see, that's just it. So you never know, you know, who you'll you'll meet and why you meet them and what importance that knowing somebody who knows somebody will play, you know, a role uh, in your life. Um, uh, actually, I'll give a shout out to not just Desi, but uh, knowing Desi because of knowing Eric, who is part of the show for about half of DNA's run. Pinfall from DKA now. No. So knowing Eric, who obviously I met Rob, who became part of the show, but knowing Eric allowed me to beat Desi when him and I got together and watched WrestleMania 30 at my apartment and become friends with him, who then introduced me to his wife, who over the years we've got to know as a family, who let me know when I was looking for work recently about this job, which led to me uh, getting an interview and then obviously getting a job. It's uh, one of those things, you never know what kind of role, whether it be significant or not, that people play in their lives. So. Havoc now, nice move there. Spear to DKA. Havoc. Just taking a seat in the rain. Oh, God. Rocking back and forth. DK now with the pinfall and Havoc. Will this be enough for him? No. Havoc at one, Adam at one. Havoc powering out of this. Oh, DK goes down hard. Havoc. Land oh, is going for it too slow. Adam landed his finisher instead. Will Annihilation take home another title here tonight? Pinfall attempt. Oh, no. Adam picks up the Twitch Championship here on Tuesday night. Wow. Annihilation taking home another belt. You did tip over my sprite, Rob. That's how we met each other. <laughs> Last day of sixth grade. Hey, you never know. Like, that's why, like, if I could tell anybody just, just be good people you know I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say Twitch. Nightmare getting a Twitch title opportunity this Thursday they'll be facing Adam for that belt as will DKA your stream boss as of right now if we end the show with him still on top vote winners 
Annihilation 100% most underrated team. Dude, they truly are. Yeah, everyone talks Genesis. Really, what you need to talk about is Annihilation here on Tuesday. Brock, 1,000 strands. Batman, 750. And Pear, 500. Brock won again. See, that's how easy it is to get strands. You just got a 1,000 more, Brock. And that's true, Lana. Because I, Rob, invited me out to a party. I met my wife. So... You never know, like, life is about connections, meeting people, and, uh, you, you never know what, uh, big or small they can offer you, you know, in life. 100-bit donation from Home Skillet, hip hip. All right, thank you for that. I hate your guts! <laughs> that cut I was robbed. So, Rick, you're getting an entry here. Thank you for that. Batman says it's been a great night again tonight. It really has. I feel great about tonight. Um, Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, NEW. Stay tuned for that show. It's going to be a good show. I don't know if anything will be on tomorrow. Lock I, I have not discussed our next community night or if he's going to do some more stuff. Glad to have that make your life so great. <laughs> Um, but really the best way is to stay posted to our channel with those notifications. Check us out on social media as we post when we're about to go live with pop-up content. And uh, we'll continue to talk about the podcast thing. I'm really leaning towards as the weekends um, get colder and I'm not gone as much on the weekends that uh, podcasts can become feasible for the winter time and we'll see how that goes. And uh, don't do anything tomorrow. Watch AEW. We do need to watch at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, look for Cody. Everyone look for him. Uh, what shirt are you going to be wearing, Cody? So we know what to look for. And if you get on screen, take a screenshot of that somewhere. If you see Cody with the shirt that he's going to mention. You don't have TNT? Oh, man. I'm just going to say screw AEW. Watch the match singer. No. No. Don't do that. Cody, what shirt are you wearing? So we gotta snag a screenshot of the TV. So pause your DVRs, record it. If you're watching NXT, NXT is gonna be good too. There you go, the NEW shirt. So look out for Nerd Elite Wrestling on AEW, all Elite Wrestling. If he gets on TV with that shirt, I don't know, what did we say, 100,000 strands or something crazy? Was it 50,000, 10,000? I don't remember what we said anymore. It was something crazy. Because that's national TV exposure for our show. <laughs> People would be confused what it is anyways. Where your mock shirt? There you go. 13-bit donation from Rated. And a parting thought from Locke. Yes, in lightness. It does have potential. Always vote along even if you don't win, you get strands. There you go. 15 bit from Home Skillet Hip Hip. Hooray! You've given 100 strands to everyone who's gotten at least one right every night for the last month. Holy cow! See the generosity of Locke here as he keeps giving strands to people. He's also been giving strands to anyone that's tuned into his pop-up streams. Uh, he doesn't announce how much or if he's even doing that. He's just quietly being generous to everyone that takes time out of their day to check us out live and even chat a few times and give us a shout out. Um, really that means a lot to us and it, it makes doing what we're doing even more worthwhile. So, see, Batman's been watching anyone as uh, he is giving. He's, he's a generous, often too generous, um, generous guy. I'm not saying bribery, but yes. Boo home skillet. <laughs> but thank you all, though, for now 137 
episodes in the books. We are getting closer to a milestone that WCW had with Thunder. We'll be doing on that night, you'll know when you tune in, it'll be Thunder Night because we will be turning whichever show it lands on, either it be NAW or NEW, into Thunder. So it's going to be a special Thunder Arena that night once we match the same amount of episodes they did. So, that'll be a fun one. And we're still a ways away from Nitro, and we will never match Raw. So, that'll probably be the last of the themed type episodes that we do after Nitro. So, anyways, enough blabbering. I say that. I do say that. We're not doing 1,500 episodes of this show. I'm sorry. That's a lot of episodes. What about the war zone? <laughs> No. We get to that, maybe, or even heat. It's possible. But yes. Hey, thank you, Batman. Thank you. You guys are all amazing. This has been 137 episodes in the books. What about TNA? What about them? <laughs> no offense. There is some good stuff there. Just uh, a lot of bad. Thanks, Worldline. We'll see you in your rematch next Tuesday. Glad you had fun. I always had fun. Velocity, good lord. Anywho. We will see you Thursday night for Nerd Elite Wrestling, 8.30 p.m. Right under the chat window there. There's the advert for it. Enjoy AEW. Have fun, Cody. We want to hear all about it on Thursday in chat. And, of course, for those watching, enjoy it. Hopefully it ends up being good. And the most important thing... The reason it needs to be good is because we need competition in wrestling again. Let's make wrestling better again. That's the goal, right? That's why we do what we do. And it looks like your stream boss tonight, heading into the Twitch title match this Thursday, is going to be home skillet. So congrats on that. We will see you all Thursday. Until then, everyone, have a good night. You go on commentary. Yeah. This is the commentary. Yes. All right, night, everyone. Take care. We'll see you Thursday.